Okay, better late than never. Ron, you made it out here. Uh, as I understand it, the airplane has made its first big cross-country foray over here to the wilds of Lakeland. Tell us about the Comp Air 6.2. Well, it's a brand new design. It's all carbon. It's a six-place airplane powered by a Lycoming 350-horse turbocharged engine with a brand new Hartzell prop on it. It's, it's just a big family airplane is what we built here. Now, the airplane, as I understand, the target price right now is 327000 for the kit, Correct. but there's also a build program associated with it. That's What's right. it going to take when somebody decides, okay, I want to build the monster? What are they going to have to do? What's it likely to cost in the long run? How can they get it done? Okay, well, the... the the airplane is, is, is all molded. The outside of the, the fuselage is split in half, so the vertical stab is incorporated. We sell the kit with the ribs already in the fuselage. It is assembled. The wing has the spars in it, and all of the ribs are populated in the wing. So the builder gets it, and he has to finish all of that, put the flaps and ailerons on it. We are trying to encourage people to use our facility and build the wings and flaps and ailerons where, because we have fixtures. We've built special fixtures for all this stuff. So it would be quicker and easier to, to do that. The rest of it's pretty straightforward, in, you know, putting in the control system, wiring, and mechanical stuff, engine. The wing is, as you know, in any airplane, that's the most complicated part of the airplane. Build time, roughly? It's going to be close to 3,000 man hours. You know, it's a big airplane. You know, you just can't get away from that. The overall expectations you have for performance of this aircraft, what are you targeting? It's going to cruise about 195 knots. It carries 105 gallons of fuel, so it's got right at an 800 nautical mile range. And as I understand it, there's a variant sometime in the future to install a turbine? It will be here today. Really? It has a Walter 601D in it. Now, it's just the fuselage with the engine mounted and the cowling, okay. but that's coming today. This I'm glad you clarified that. I didn't know if this was going to be another one of those test flight yeah. specials. If it was going to fly in, I'd be flying it. There you go. What kind of numbers are you expecting on the turbine? About 240 knots cruise. That's going to be booking. Yeah, fixed gear. And where do you go from here? How, how much of a development program is still still remains, and when will we see kits going out the door? We can build kits now. We have all full, full production. As far as development, there's a punch list. I have a big punch list we have to take care of. The airplane flies remarkably well, and you're going to find out soon. I'm always impressed flying this airplane, how well it flies. I really, you design it, you build it, and you pray, and it's there. It's great. So it, we have an oil leak. Um, the cowling I don't like. We're, we're going to make a new cowling for it and stuff like that. But Right now, I, I, there's not much. There really isn't. By Oshkosh, we want to have it painted, you know, all the nice stripes on it. Interior, you know, have even an autopilot. That'd be great. <laughs> Good on you, guys. Just be careful, have fun, and more important than anything else, just keep on, man. I know this yeah. has been a lot of work. I've watched this thing over yep. quite a while now, and uh, boy, these things do not happen easily, especially no. when you're going after a market segment like you are.